Hi guys, welcome to the third part in this video series on brain fog programming. Well, in this part I'm going to introduce variables in brain fog. And this is a really interesting topic uh, to learn, because variables is the very basic of any kind of programming language. But uh, when we talk about the brain fog, then the variables become a bit different consider, uh, compared to uh, another high, either high or le or low level languages. So one of the most differences of brain fog variables is that they are often like relative. So this means like you know that the say variable x locates on uh, three cells past the your current point location or it may be uh, f three cells to the left or three cells to the right or for example you know like that you have an array of numbers and then you have a zero and then you have another array and then another zero and then maybe some string and in this case uh, the string may be considered as a variable and the array may be considered as another one or the single variables uh, could have been uh, separated by zeros either or probably not even necessarily by zeros but by some other uh, values possibly so without further ado I'd like to uh, demonstrate this on practice so the first uh, thing uh, we c uh, the, th the very first thing I want to show is how to efficiently move the pointer around the variables in brain fog program so uh, let's keep the first uh, cell uh, and let's initialize the second cell to some value then the third cell to some another uh, the fourth and the fifth value and now we are actually at the uh, cell number five and to make sure this is true let's bring the hash symbol and to, to, s to bring the debug information that contains the cell number current cell current cells number and the value of the current cell I would run this program uh, with an interpreter called IB that, that was covered already in the last video so uh, IB variables dot B and nothing happens okay it's probably because I have to save it first yeah okay oh sorry I fooled you a bit so we are in cell 4 actually so to cell 1 to cell Two, three. Yeah, we are at cell four. Well, but le let's just uh, leave at cell five like this. Yeah, so we are now at the cell five, and the question is, uh, how do we actually get to the second, uh, to the cell zero, uh, to the very first cell in the brain fog tape, and you might have uh, for sure you might have make it like so like print one two three four five uh, commands uh, to move the pointer to the right and you would actually get there yeah uh, this uh, this is the cell zero but if you don't know exactly the number of particular of particular commands uh, or times to move to the left or to the right that it might be a real issue. So, in order to go to the <coughs> uh, to find the uh, cell with the value of zero, we can use an algorithm like this and see what happens. And now we are again at the cell zero, but it's not because it's the very first cell. Say, if here we would start with cell, say cell 4 apparently yeah? then after this algorithm works we get back to the cell 3 which is one cell before the cell that contains non-zero value so to go to 
put the pointer to the very first element of this particular array, we have to go one step to the right after finding a zero, and in this case we see that uh, actually the cell 4 is the first cell that has some value in it. Yeah, so it has the value 5, and after this operation we are at the cell 4 again. So that's why I was talking about the relativity of brain fog variables. So, like this array is located, like, like the beginning of the array is located the number of cells to the left from the pointer position if the pointer is at the end of the array. Well, this might be a bit tricky and not really clear for now, but uh, you will definitely understand this later on if you would be practicing brain fuck yourself. And now let me explain how does this particular algorithm works. As you know, the uh, square bracket is a, uh, like a tool for the loops and it works as follows. If the value under the data pointer is more or less than zero, then the loop, so everything that is within this uh, square brackets, is executed. Otherwise, I mean, if the value under the cell uh, uh, at the data pointer is equal actually to zero, that uh, this uh, code, whatever is here, would be skipped. Yeah? So that's the way how we determine whether that cell has a zero value or not. So we were at cell uh, 8 and the cell 8 had a value of 1. So in this case we enter the loop. So uh, if we were actually one cell after, uh, if it did skip one cell uh, after the last uh, element of the array that... oh sorry for this... then basically we won't get uh, to the beginning of the array, to the cell 4, and we are actually still uh, being stuck at the cell 9. So in order, so th this way, uh, this time, if uh, the current uh, cell, uh, cell value is 0, s so before having this loop, we have to move actually one cell to the left in order to enter the end of the loop. And this time it would work as expected again. So we are again in the cell 4. Yeah? And one more little thing. Uh, here, instead of uh, this hash symbol, we could have used the at symbol. And in this case I b would print... Oh, I'm sorry. In this case I b would print uh, a memory dump in such a manner where you could have seen uh, for about uh, 19 or, or 20, I don't really remember how exactly, cells uh, in the row. I is it the row or in or calls? Sorry for my English guys. Uh, in, the, in the line. Uh, in the line. Yeah, probably in the line. It's correct. So that's uh, another debugging symbol which might be useful in some cases. And uh, another way we could have also uh, do is uh, instead of searching the zero value, we could have searched for a value of uh, any given constant, basically. Uh, and uh, just let me show you the example of uh, looking for cell that contains the value of one. So let's skip uh, some squares to the right and exactly one two three four five six seven okay so we have to be at the cell eight now okay at, at the cell at the cell seven sorry and let's initialize the cell seven to one let's see and then let's go back forcingly to the beginning of our array and say the only thing we know that to the right of the particular pointer position, we have uh, a, cell, uh, a cell with a value of 1, just somewhere along the tape. And in order to find this uh, cell, we have to 
use another algorithm. So first thing we do, as far as we are now at the cell containing the value of zero, uh, if we just uh, put a loop, it won't ever be entered. So first we have to make uh, this plus and uh, the current cell is initialized to the exact value we are looking for. So if we were looking for say value 2 here, that here we would put two pluses and if here would be the value of 3 then we would put here 3 pluses and so on. But just an example, I'd like to show how it works w if we are actually searching for the value of 1. So in this case we're at the cell that was just 0 and the first thing to do we oh I'm sorry we just decrease this cell back so if it was say 1 then it would become 0 again or whatever value it had the value would be restored just after the loop has been entered and that's quite important for this technique doesn't damage the particular values of the array and the next thing we have to we just want to go one cell to the right uh, as far as we're looking for cell with the value 1 to the right of the current point of position we're going to the right in case it if we would uh, be uh, searching for this cell to the left of the current point of location that here we would put uh, this sign but now we're searching to the right and the next uh, thing we do that in the cell just we have uh, just entered we must uh, oh uh, I'm sorry <laughs> just a bit of typo here we have to decrement and this works absolutely the same so we just enter this loop for if it was null and after minus it would be just minus one so we enter the loop and here we have this plus just a typo guys I'm sorry and after uh, entering a new uh, cell the first thing we would want to do is again to decrement this value by one and here maybe just two cases the first case if this cell uh, is not equal to the value we are looking for it would be uh, restored the next iteration of the particular loop but in case if we would have after this decrement here we would have the value of zero that this loop then this loop will not ever to be executed again and the current point location would be just uh, exact uh, where the cell with the value of 1 is located and the last thing we have to do that in the cell we're actually looking for which now has the value of 0 we have to restore the value back to 1 like this and if we would just print some debug information here again then we would see that after being in the cell number one we have actually found the cell number s number seven this is it yeah well so this were the simplest brain fog techniques to search for the particular value of the cell located somewhere along the tape or looking for a value of uh, zero cell this is it for this video guys see you next video bye